Hello, tech fans. Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We're always bringing you all the tech all the time. In case you're new here, I'm Eric, your host. And unless you guys have been just not paying attention to the PC stuff lately, Intel has released a whole bunch of new stuff that's just come out. All their new line of i5 and i7 chip jets for the desktop and mobile have now been released. We did the review on the new i7 4770K. If you guys missed that, check that out right here. Now, with that said, a lot of Z87 motherboards have hit the market. We've got the G1 Sniper 5 from the people over at Gigabyte, and this thing has a shitstorm of features on it, including a brand new sound system that features op-amp technology, which means you can go in and change the little things on the motherboard and change the way the sound is. Really cool stuff. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, Z87 chipset, what's new about it? Not a lot is really new. You get some additional SATA ports, some additional USB ports, but all the kind of things that are really important to us as far as our 8x gaming lanes and all that kind of stuff, 16x gaming lanes, Lanes, all that kind of stuff is pretty much going to stay the same, not much different. So with that said, let's jump in, let's check out the G1 Sniper and see if it makes the kill shot. All right, folks, so check it out. Here's the box. I know some of you folks say, hey, you know, we don't care about the box, but other people do. And so we're just going to go ahead and talk about the box. This is brand new. G1 Killer. You guys can see the bullet right there. I know that in the past, some people made fun of the little gun design that Gigabyte had in the motherboards. They removed all that, and they've done all kinds of new stuff with their BIOS. In fact, BIOS has been all new. Gone is the old 3D BIOS. In is their new BIOS. Now, check it out. Here's the Gigabyte Op Amp Upgrade Kit, which is included. Now, this is really cool because you have your onboard sound, and with this, you can actually change the way that the sound is. Either more bassy, more clarity, whatever you want, there's something to fit. Obviously, it's the G1 Sniper 5. The rest of it's down here. You guys know it's all for the new Intel LGA 1150 chipset. That's right. So we're going to continue on here real quick. Just real quick, going to go right here. Zoom in on this for people out there who are looking to buy the motherboard. This is all the nomenclature. You guys can see all that stuff there. But now, the back of the box is actually really important. A lot of times, don't do much about it, but this time there's actually so much here we should talk about it. Let's just start up here at the top. G1 Sniper 5, the G1 Killer logo here, Ultra Durable 5 series. You guys get a Bluetooth 4.0, 30 megabyte per second, dual bandwidth Wi-Fi card. So that's pretty cool. Over here, you guys see once again, the Gigabyte Amp Up Audio, exclusive upgrade or amp gaming motherboard. No sound like this has actually been on any motherboard that I've ever seen. You guys can see it comes with a creative sound core, 3D with custom gold-plated shielding, Nichicon high-end audio capacitors. They have ultra networking. Once again, they have the killer E22 on board for network, and they also have Intel's onboard audio that has high ESD protection. Now, you can see it has four-way graphic supports, so you can do four-way SLI or four-way crossfire, whichever you want to do. Exclusive UAFI dual BIOS. Durable black solid caps all the way across the board. You guys can see a lot more stuff on the board. I'm not going to go over every single bit of it, but check it out. You can also use water cooling on the board. They use an all new IR digital power design. The International Rectifier, which is the number one IR digital PWWMs with its IR power stage ICs. You also got two times the copper PCB and quick button technology for your onboard power reset, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, the onboard video will support 4K HDMI. And you guys can just real quick see the rear IR right there. I know that's a lot of stuff in the box, folks, but this is a brand new box. And how many people have seen it? I decided to go a little bit anal on doing the box. So now let's go ahead and take it out of the box and start checking it out for real. Go ahead and just take this thing. Oh, that felt really good. I shouldn't have ate those burritos, I guess, for lunch. Uh, now that's just the box tear in there. So get that out of the way there. Set it down here. So inside here, start off. You guys can see it all comes in its own complete box inside the box. Box exception again. All protected and everything. Go ahead and set that down. Pop the cap. We've got another little plastic cap here too. It's going to come off. Now, I'm going to pull the motherboard out. And ooh, you know, um, has that nice new motherboard smell. Let me just pull this and get this out of the way real quick though. And let's go over all, and I mean all, of the exclusive stuff that comes in this box. So let me start pulling it out one by one, folks. So, all right, folks, we're going to start off with the rear I.O. See, it's all color coordinated. Everything's really nice and easily marked there. Get a six USB 3.0 on the rear I.O. That's pretty cool. We'll set that down. Continue going. 
there's just so much stuff inside of this box, folks. I'm telling you, Gigabyte really threw in the entire kitchen sink here. Here is your lovely wireless. And here's the cable that connects it to your motherboard. Really nice. Some of the nicest Wi-Fi you're going to see. We keep going. So here we go. Here's a really cool tool anyways, folks. Check this out. We talked about that audio, right? Here's the op amp upgrade kit. You get actually additional op amp. It's included here, but you can go online and you can choose all kinds of different ones from different companies. It's really fun to experiment. Um, we had a lot of fun at their event doing this. I think you guys are going to be highly impressed with that. And there's a tool right here to remove it. Um, one thing that's really funny too, I'm going to mention this. If you guys ever bought an Intel motherboard, this tool actually removes the BIOS chip on Intel motherboards. Kind of strange. Set that down. There's so much stuff in here, folks. It's got to tell you. Gigabyte. This here is the CD with all of your drivers and all that stuff. Here's your wireless disc. This has all your wireless stuff. Set that down. Two, three, folks. You just, there's so much in here, folks. I'm just telling you. All right, so we'll continue moving on. Here, right here, that I've got right here. I'm going to pull this out of the bag for you, folks. Here's the antenna that uh, hooks up. So kaboomy, kaboomy. Two connectors are inside of there. You got this little antenna right here. So you get great Wi-Fi connectivity. So we keep moving along here, folks. Here is a breakout for your USB 3.0 for front panel connectors right there. Got that. We have one, two, three black SATA cables, all SATA 6. And now we come to the SLI bridges, so check it out. Four-way SLI bridge. They are not joking around in this board. Three-way SLI bridge. And those of you who like moderate kink, just your standard two-way SLI. We also have a single crossfire connector. No multiple connectors. Now, why is that, Gigabyte? Be fair. Be fair. Throw it over there. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty, folks. We've only got a couple more things in the box here. We have the user's manual. Multilingual installation guidebook. And the set your desktop free. This is for all your wireless stuff right here. And so that's what we call the accessory pack. That's what comes in the box. Now let's move on and take a closer look at the motherboard. All right, folks, so now we have the motherboard out of the box. You guys can see it all has the complete black and green, which I consider the old school Kawasaki look to it, but it's also NVIDIA-like too. Now you guys can see all the top here with the ultra durable, all around this cooling off the MOSFETs and everything is something that can be liquid cooled or air cooled. You see there's ports right here. You can actually connect these up to your liquid cooling kit and there's actually another fan right here, additionally cooling off the board. Really nice stuff. Now there are a total of nine fan headers on the board beginning up here on top. And one of the really cool things about these new fan headers is that they can actually be controlled through the BIOS. On previous generation motherboards, there were a couple of them that you could hook up. They could not be connected and run through the BIOS. Now with this motherboard, you can go into the BIOS and control all of those fans. Here you guys can see there's plenty of room around the LGA 1150 socket right here for putting in your coolers, either aftermarket or standard. Then we're going to move over there next to that. I'll actually flip the board around here for us to take some additional looks here to have the camera and like zoom in over here. Now, right down below the ZIF socket or to the side, depending on how you want to look at it, you guys can see the memory slots. There are four DIMMs supporting a total of 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. They're all color coordinated and nice. So we'll start off down here, folks, as well. We can see there's a power button, the reset button, little mem button. Here we can see all the black high capacity parts that are being used. You also have a switch right here for your BIOS. This is a dual BIOS motherboard, so you can switch the BIOS back and forth or if one burns out, which actually works out pretty well if you're doing a lot of overclocking. Here's your 24 pin power right here. Here's your LED reader. This will tell you if you guys have some kind of error on your motherboard. It'll give you a post button. It'll say either A9 or FF or something. It'll tell you a code. You can look it up in your manual and find out what's actually causing the motherboard problems. Then we'll move along over here. We see another complete cooling solution right here. We see the heat pipe running along. So that if you put the liquid in here, it's going to be cooling all the way around down to the board. It's got 
the G1 killer and a little skull like thing right there, a little knife in its mouth. Here we can see the battery. If you need to remove this at all to reset your system, you can do that. We also have a USB 3.0 connector right here. So you can plug that in and stick that into your front connector that we showed you earlier in the unboxing. All right, folks, now let's move down the side of the board. Now, this is pretty interesting right here. This is something new. This is the ATX4P. You guys can see this right here. Now, what this actually does, this provides extra power to your PCI. So that's kind of pretty cool. Now, here are all of our SATA connectors. These black ones right here, these are all brought to you on the Z87 chipset. These ones right down here are brought to you guys by the Marvel chipset. So all in all, you get 10. Really nice. Plenty of connectivity there. You're not going to run out of nothing with that. Let's flip the board around. We'll stick on the side of the board. Down here on the side, you guys can see there's more system fans, all your connectivity right here. Another USB 3.0. More system fans all the way around. Since we got the board up right here, now let's talk about the connectivity as far as your lanes go. We have one, two, three, four PCI Express lanes. These are all for your video cards and that type of stuff. And then we have the PCI 1X lanes. These are one, two, three, running all the way down. Now let's flip it around though, folks, and let's get a really close up of this down here. This is all of the audio for the motherboard. Very important stuff. All the high-end Nichicon capacitors and everything. Here's your little AM chip that we were talking about before. This can be pulled off, removed from the board, and changed out. More high power Nichicon capacitors are down here. This is all based off the Creative. This is their new Creative Sound Core. All right, folks, so now let's take a look at the rear I.O. And this one is actually quite nice and offers something unique that I haven't seen on many other motherboards. And we're going to start off over here on the right side. We first see the two USB 2.0 connectors. Then we see the legacy PS2 keyboard and mouse port. Coaxial audio. Now here's where things get really, really interesting on this motherboard. You get two gold-plated HDMI ports. Now, this is really interesting. Dual gold-plated HDMI ports, gold-plated display port. Then we get two NICs. One is the killer. One is the LAN with the superior ESD. Then we get two more sets of USB 3.0. And then finally, we make our way over to the audio. Now, check this out. Every one of the connections on here is gold plated. So you get all of this and you're gold plated for your 7.1. And then for your digital SPDIF, you get a connection right there. One thing I might have missed, folks, I just want to make sure I just don't miss it, folks, is right here is the 8 pin power connector up here up on top. I think when I probably was showing the board, I might have missed that out. So I'll make sure you guys see that. Now, let me just flip the board around real quick, let you guys see the back side of the motherboard. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. The new G1 Sniper 5 from the people over at Gigabyte for the brand new LGA 1150 CPUs on the Z87 chipset, people. So that's it. Now, this thing's probably going to come to market a little bit over $200, but it does have outstanding features on it. And if you're in this kind of color scheme and this kind of build, you're really going to be into this thing. A lot of improvements have gone to this board. Like I said, the BIOS has been completely changed. You no longer get their wanky 3D BIOS. They have their brand new complete digital BIOS, digital power, all that stuff on the board. So I'm really looking forward to throwing this thing on the test station and see how it does in real time. Hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure you guys Kung Fu kick that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hey, we always appreciate seeing you back here. So we hope you do. I'm Elric. Take it easy.